John Thrash players sometimes experience really uncommon things. Like this extreme RNG level with a 0.004% chance of success, there is a lot of rare stuff in Geometry Dash. In this video, I'll go over things in the game that almost always happen to the smallest odds you have ever seen. Enjoy and be sure to check out how much of this list you yourself have experienced. Something that 100% of the time happens is you surviving on this level named Goofy Map. You can jump as much as you want, you cannot die. A player that goes by the name of Dark Moment has insane determination. This guy spent 1 million attempts on the level via C, known as being the hardest level, and on his 1 millionth attempt, he died at 3% of the level. The chance that he didn't beat the level in that specific attempt would be around 99.999%, probably a bit higher because of his muscle memory. We continue with a 94% chance. The odds of the first level you play having a ship portal in it, a portal that makes you fly. It was found out that in 25,626 star rated levels, around 24,000 had a ship portal in them. This makes it the most used object in the entire game. A bit lower is the chance of you never having lost any demon keys. Demon keys can be obtained by beating levels or getting progress on them, and normally you can get one after a while. However, there is a small chance of you losing one because of an unknown bug, after which the game says you got minus one demon keys. 85% have never experienced this. What if I said that 69% of you guys can't pass the first percentage on the level Final Fantasy, a level known for its insane jumps, but the first jump is at 3%, so how are people not able to get 1%, even when spending thousands of attempts on it? Well, this level implemented the gap at the beginning where you die to when on any FPS besides 144 or 240 frames per second, and only 69% of the players play on these amounts of FPS based on a poll I hosted. Weirdly enough, barely half of the people who play Geometry Dash have beaten back on track. In practice mode. This level is known to be one of the easiest levels in the game, so it's quite weird this achievement has only been achieved by 51% of the people. Exactly half of you guys would pass the first jump in this wrapped up level if you all played at the same time. This is because the first jump is randomized. It can be a spike on the ground, meaning you have to jump, or a spike in the air, meaning you shouldn't jump. A 50-50 choice to choose your faith. There are 5 shards in Geometry Dash, each having the same chance of being obtained from a chest, meaning there's a 20% chance you get 2 shards in a row. But enough with these boring facts. Let's switch to the most brutal memory level in the game, Limbo. The final part has 8 keys in it and only one lets you not die to these spikes below you. If you would choose a key at random, there is a 12.5% chance of beating the level. Luckily, this chance is more than a trillion times bigger than our lowest chances on the list. Time to warp back in time all the way back to 2017, the year weekly demons got added in the game. It's basically a feature that every week showcases a new demon difficulty for the community to play. In the first year there were 52 weekly demons and there also was a 9.6% chance that in this year, the weekly demon would be a level from the user Danceman, since his levels got weekly demon 5 times in one year, more than anyone else in the game at that time. A rated level being named the same as another rated level is unlikely to happen. By checking some clones of the latest 100 rated levels, there were only 7 that shared similar names with other levels. User Pikachu Pikachu made an RNG simulation in GD. You have a 1 in 20 chance to get the number 1, which counts for any specific number basically. The demon key that I talked about before can be obtained when getting 500 orbs, a currency you get when getting progress on a level. When opening a wooden chest, you get 20 of those orbs, meaning there's a 4% chance you also get a demon key from that chest. But let's move on from demon keys to weekly demons again. There have been 285 in the entire game since now, and a few of them are very special. Almost all weekly demons are from the two easiest demon categories, easy and medium, but 6 out of these 285 weekly demons are hard demons. There is a 2.1% chance of this happening. Getting two loading screens at the same time is even more rare. There are 61 different loading screen messages and getting two of those in a row has a possibility of 1.6%. Like I just said, hard demons are unlikely to get into the weekly demon tab. There is one difficulty however that gets featured even less in this tab. Only three extreme demons, the hardest difficulty, have ever been a weekly demon. All being April Fool's jokes by the game's creator Robtop. Something I'm 99% sure you've never heard about before are Jump Radish trading cards. They're worth a couple of cents and you can add them to your Steam account. This card, the Battle Dragon, has been bought by around 300,000 Jump Radish users. And since there are around 30 million people who bought the game on Steam, there's a 1% chance of you having one in your pockets right now. 
to finally cross the 1% barrier, we jump in with you using an icon that's broken. Out of all these 132 jump thresh icons, there's one that stands out. This one. This icon looks normal, but if you zoom in enough, you can see that there's one pixel outside the cube. Absolutely terrible. Now we actually get into low odds with this 0.026% chance. You might vaguely remember that I talked about the most used object before, the ship portal. But in all the 25,000 reviewed levels, only 27 of them use this object. So if this object is in any rated level you find, remember, you found a hidden gem. But wait, a player that goes by the name of C2HX just uploaded a video. In this video, he said that he was player 00666000, also known as user that is known for hacking the game. The comments in the comment section of the video were pretty odd, however. Around 100 people said that the same exact user got 99% on their level, even though it sometimes wasn't even possible to die there. The number of people who actually got this probably is way higher, which is why I expect the number of levels with a 99% comment from this user to be between 0. 0.01% and 0.0001% of all levels ever uploaded. A level named Death Moon is famous for its length and decoration. But did you know there is only one orb, which are things that can make you jump and chase gravity in the entire level? The odds of you selecting this orb in the editor at random is only 0.0025% because of this. Similar in rareness, the chance of the game's creator Robtop commenting on your level. He has around 3,250 comments on his account, most of them being on different levels. This means you have a 0.003% chance of him leaving a comment on your level. This level looks impossible, or is it? There are thousands of invisible orbs in the span of just 10 seconds, and the level is almost fully based on luck, meaning you on average have a 0.004% chance to beat it per attempt, if we look at the amount of attempts it took the verifier to beat it solely based on RNG. Even smaller are the odds of using your exact cube icon in the home screen with the same colors. There are a total of 1,001,952 combinations you can make with your cube, meaning there's a 0.0001% chance of it passing by your screen. Now we switch from the fun side of the game to the dark side. People who hate Geometry Dash. Apparently 214 people from the GD community signed a petition for this game to be removed, so there's a 0.0007% chance you might be one of them. The third luckiest level in the game is called Lucky Troll. You have these odds to beat it. You can get 100 different percentages, 1 to 100, but you can make it more specific. With this accurate percentage, you have a 0.00001% chance to get a perfect round number on your percentage bar when you die. The second luckiest level is called Favorite Results. You have this chance to pass all these spikes, but we aren't done yet. A billion times rarer than beating the Powerball Lottery, which has 1 in 300 million odds to be won, is defeating the last part in Maze of Justice. From 94% until 96%, there's a specific amount of wave clicks you need to perform which randomly changes every single time, and it's not just that. One combination could be you holding the first click for a long time, and the other one might be a bit shorter, but you don't know. The average chance to beat it per attempt is 1 divided by 20 to the power of 15. A zero with 67 zeros behind the comma is the following chance of occurrence. It's this picture. You having 100 shards of a specific color without having any other shards only happens to one in one duo of gentilian people, a number with 70 zeros behind it. This chance is still almost infinitely times smaller than 1000 monkeys beating Acheron in one attempt at the same time. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you enjoyed.